गाइस वेलकम टू बॉलीवुड बबल लाइव दिस इज योर होस्ट सृष्टि पाठक एंड वी आर बैक विद द लॉकडाउन एडिशन विद लाइव चैट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बी हैविंग अतुल कसबेकर वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट फोटोग्राफर्स दैट वी नो जॉइनिंग अस इन दिस लाइव कन्वर्सेशन सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस विद रिगार्ड्स टू फोटोग्राफी विद रिगार्ड्स टू एनीथिंग दैट यू वांट टू आस्क बिकॉज़ आई बिलीव ही इज अमेजिंग एट मेकिंग कॉकटेल्स एज़ वेल सो यू ऑल कैन हैव अ क्वेश्चन एंड um you can let me know whatever you all want to ask main unko add kar lungi hello sir how are you doing hi how are you doing very well thanks so welcome to this lockdown edition of bollywood bubble um how has uh, quarantine and lockdown been with you is it very cool or sad yeah i'm hoping it it continues for another 2 3 years because <laughs> 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 the only difference is at the at the end of the day, some Munim ji should come and give you a you know one big bag of money or something. That'd be fine. Okay, but let me not, ask. But that's you. not. But that's not going to happen. So we'll get back to work soon. Right. Let me ask you one silly question as well. So since you make these amazing pina coladas and put up videos, आपका पेट नहीं दुखता because अभी तक तो शॉप खुले नहीं थे and we are all craving. <laughs> शॉप्स खुले नहीं थे व्हेन यू पुट द वीडियो आप अल्कोहल बाहर बंद था सो वी वर ऑल हैविंग बैड टाइम लुकिंग एट द वीडियो विशिंग दैट वी कुड हैव इट टू हाउ 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 डिड यू लर्न ऑल ऑफ दिस नो नो आई हैड अ फ्रेंड इन लॉस एंजेलिस व्हेन आई वाज स्टडीइंग देयर हु वाज माय रूममेट ही वाज अ बारटेंडर सो या या सो यू नो वन टू चीप ट्रिक्स ही शोड मी I, I I just look like I'm very good at it. Actually, I know five or six things. Those I know really well. But beyond that, beyond that, it's not like I could start a bar or something. So, mm-hmm. I mean, if I if I started a bar, I would have six items. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, talking of this uh, topic, today, coffee jagao pe stores khul gaye hai, alcohol stores, coffee jagao pe, and then there's a long queue of people like uh, as if pata nahi kya ho raha. What's your take on it? Uh, I mean, because economy bhi gir rahi hai dunia ki, plus uh, log bhi affect ho rahe. What do you think this decision is like? See, I think first of all, I don't know why we have this hypocritical attitude towards alcohol. Okay. I know, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a bit silly. I think this we still have this silly things like getting a permit and stuff like that. I've never understood the logic of something like this whatsoever. I think that there are uh, uh, it, it's a re- reasonably straightforward discussion. First of all, there needs to be a lot of education, like there is abroad, and which has started over here. Like I remember when I um, first came back to India and started shooting, nobody would think anything of drink driving. Okay, they would have drinks and then drive, and there was no problem, right? Now, uh, with with the big crackdown that's happened with the cops and stuff, you know, everybody thinks twice about getting behind the wheel if they've had a drink. Now, because I've come from the US, especially in California, the the rules the rules are very very strict. So even from then, I never got behind the wheel if I had even one drink. You know, just as a habit. Okay. So now it's become the normal over here. Yeah, Daru, because no one even car doesn't drive. One. Okay. For example. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so I think this whole uh, thing about responsible drinking should be a, a factor. The other thing is, if you're over twenty-one, okay, then you should be allowed to have a drink, and you don't need these silly things like permits and all because that's only like a waste of time and and some kind of uh, again hypocritical way of dealing with it. If an establishment is serving drinks to people under twenty-one, they should lose their license. यहाँ पे होता क्या है कि लॉर्ड्स ऑफ पीपल बच्चे जाते हैं और सोलह सत्रह अठारह साल के और उनको ड्रिंक दी जाती है ओके यू नो जब वो कहीं पीने जाते हैं शुड नॉट बी अलाउड पीरियड तो यूरोप में आई थिंक सोलह साल के बाद इट्स बेयर एंड अठारह साल के बाद यू कैन हार्ड लिखा आई थिंक दट टू यंग आई थिंक इट शुड बी फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी वन ओके एंड इट शुड बी ट्वेंटी वन इट्स इट्स ओके सो वाइन बेयर स्पिरिट्स बट a responsible drinking no drunk driving and if you get caught on both those things the laws must be brutal ki yaar sochega bhi nahi koi ki yaar aisa kabhi kare you know so and and the establishment should be responsible like it is anywhere else in the world to check the age so if it looks like a duplicate yeah. license looks like a something whatever you will lose your license no discussion you know so so i think you know so you know yahan pe we make this alcohol a big deal you know i'm saying it's not a big deal you know you just Absolutely. need to educate people and the education process has happened here already you know so. that's a very mature thought sir and i wish that you know maximum number of people think that way uh, which is not so uh, 
लॉकडाउन के टाइम में अगर आपको चाहिए पीने के लिए तो यू नो इट्स वेरी इट 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 वाज क्वाइट पॉसिबल टू गेट इट एट क्रेजी प्राइसेस पीपल हैड टोल्ड मी लकीली आई नेवर हैड टू डू दैट बट यू नो सो आई थिंक इट्स कंप्लीटली पॉसिबल टू एनीवेयर इन द वर्ल्ड व्हेनेवर इंक्लूडिंग द स्टेट्स इन गुजरात ओके इन इन इंडिया लाइक गुजरात एंड बिहार एंड ओवर एल्स हैज डन दिस सिली थिंग लाइक प्रोहिबिशन आई अश्योर यू दैट alcohol is available and everybody knows it it's an open secret yes, so you know so we should so we should not have these silly games we play about pretending to be all puritanical but jo chahiye aapko milta hai and it's been proved all over the world over history that prohibition does not work you know so i don't understand why we waste our time doing this so. absolutely so coming to photography i am not going to sugar coat things but most of us most of my friends wanted to get clicked by you we all girls you know we you've been on this uh, dream photographer list always so how has it been how has your journey been for you good yeah i mean this year marks my 30th year in the business and people are still calling me to shoot so yeah so i mean imagine that so i just feel ki it's is very fortunate that uh, you know the phone is still ringing uh because i think one very important word for me is relevance ki yeah. you know aapki duniya mein relevance kya hai so i think in, in you know in what are you doing and you have to keep asking yourself this question ki are you still relevant are you still relevant if you think you're not becoming relevant what are you doing to stay relevant you know so on so i think it's very important that you um, uh, address this and you you know um uh, keep reinventing yourself keep uh, being interesting and so on so So, so in 2020, in the current scenario, what is being relevant for you? What is it? Yeah, so I think I, I think what's going to happen is we're going to have a lot of changes in terms of, of. I mean, for example, Tata Consultancy Services like TCS has suddenly mm-hmm. realized that our work is going well. Seventy-five percent of our workforce doesn't need to come. They've announced it already. That does not need to come to office. They will do work from home only. So yes, just imagine yes. how much chai, coffee, size of office, real estate. you know uh, they don't need also those people that they hiring don't need to live in the same city they can be living somewhere else but office starts at 8:30 so 8:30 you log on but your commute mm. time is zero you will save on traffic and you know they can hire people like i said from other cities they don't need an office of so many thousand square feet the office can be 60% less whatever you know right, right, so right. so i think the like a lot of the stuff that uh, and i have friends who uh, uh, work in the us and apple and other places and uh, a lot of it is just purely on video conference and so on but it's a full working day they're sitting at a desk like they were and they do their time off and they have their workout times and whatever it is you know so uh, but you're you're in your uh, in your home so i think this is great because you know a, a, a lot of, it's also very good for for example let's say for women who are mad uh, young mothers you know and they now can't take up a job because the kid is too small let's say you know yeah, here yeah. you can still work and uh, instead of instead of not being working at all they can you know work out of uh, 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 a home at that certain flexi time because you know the kid is right there and your desk is right here yeah, yeah, so yeah. so i think a lot of process of reinvention is going to happen realignment people have to think in terms of their uh, what the income streams are going to be i mean we've been producing movies uh, it's a uh, it's going to be a much tougher market uh, when will theatrical for example resume at full capacity kisi ko pata nahi so you know i think there are a lot of uh, questions which will start happening suppose you start shooting in september suppose okay suppose uh, uske pehle to i don't think it's going to happen but you know if you start shooting in september and you have a 30 day schedule and on day number 12 of your schedule one person from light boy one you know uh, uh whoever you know uh one like like the assistant to the dressman whatever it is koi bhi ho sakta hai director you know uh like test positive for covid because there are 100 people on set mm, right. how do you can how can you control who is where right so it becomes a difficult thing and then what happens your unit comes to a standstill you get no insurance for this right. so you're going to be in big trouble if that happens so then right. do you start shooting in september do you not start shooting in september? That is going to be crazy. Nobody is. You know, I've been speaking and doing a lot of interviews, and everybody has the same thing to say that you know uh, this is the last thing. 
kind of start off when it comes to this kind of thing going when we are talk, we are talking on uh, talking about bollywood talking about work it's not been a very uh, merry month or probably a phase for us and you know very recently we just got to know about afan ji and rishi ji how do you feel when you you know heard about it, that and did you get the opportunity to you know kind of show what about what sorry what about afan ji and rishi ji passing away yeah i mean actually i have shot with both quite a few times i uh, shot with afan very in fact very early in his career it was for a uh, um like a pilot that uh, someone i knew who was the producer was uh, uh doing with him uh, and he had come very young actor at that time and you know and nobody i didn't know who he was as in the name kya batao and then i've shot him a few times and knew him well same thing with rishi ji we've done a lot of work together as well so you know some endorsement deals and and things like this so i think uh, you know that has been uh, a loss of even if you know ki someone's got a bad case of cancer and no it's going to happen at some point in time you know ki it's a, it's a matter of time whatever and you know still when it happens it's like somebody punches you you know it's very bad and then back to back just when you're recovering from one next day you know they can't pass the rishi ji pass the next day so terrible so Hmm. So you also we 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 are very well aware about the fact that you're also a producer. So did you ever think of uh, giving a role to these two fine men in your life? Arey, it would have been my privilege, but um, we don't make four five films a year. I've only made three so far. So we have mm-hmm. Nirja, Tumari Sulu, and Cheat India. So you know, um, mm-hmm. and in these in these in these there was really no opportunity per se. But mm-hmm. um, uh, but I but I mean it's my loss. Mm-hmm. I think all those all those who who did work with them uh should feel blessed really What is it that you kept in the shelves to do after quarantine ends and once you think that it's really safe to start working what is it that you thought of doing what's coming up Are there are 100 things to do well, first of all I think one has to everybody has to go back and salvage their businesses <laughs> you know we were supposed to start shooting on the on the 17th for the film with tapsi we're doing which was the remake of ran lola ran so that has obviously now got pushed uh so now we'll probably have to shoot post monsoon because we are shooting in goa and in mumbai so maybe when we resume first we'll shoot in mumbai then go to goa god knows it depends now on date mm. so we have to let so we have to break down the unit now we have to reassemble the unit hopefully the same people will come back on the job you know maybe they're not free god knows yeah it's going to be crazy so so since you're such a big photographer i'm sure all your fans must be dming you aapse sabse zyada common question kya poocha jata hai fans se kaun sa kaun sa camera khareedu sabse common uh, and second what's your favorite model oh god please don't ask me that right? so you know who's your favorite model sir but then since people do ask you kaun sa camera khareed do to uh, what what do you suggest Then. I said, I said, whatever you can afford. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, there's, yeah. No, there's a there's a saying which I, I love to use is that no typewriter wrote a novel by itself. You know, so I mean the when you have like a writing machine, whether it's a laptop computer or whether it's a, a you know an old typewriter, it doesn't matter because for the simple reason that it's uh, yeah, it's something that you know all the letters and the characters are there. now how you how you write them and you write a masterpiece you write rubbish so this depends on up to you mm-hmm. so, yeah the equipment the equipment does not make you better right your art makes you better so out of all the shoots that you've done which which uh, probably uh, concept i could say which concept was your favorite concept hmm um Um, There's a fan drooling over your beard. <laughs> really? Yeah. This is called boredom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, talking of concept, any of your favorite concepts that you'd like to share? Uh, I think I think what's interesting is well, we we done in the past lots of really good work for Vadi Lal. I've done lots of good work for Pepsi. We've done uh, some interesting shoots for IBM. uh in fact out of australia that was fun then there was some catalogs for an american company called juju long back which are still memorable to me um you know we've done lots of uh, good work for maruti udyog in the days i was shooting cars and 
um you know and then and then what happened was like uh, uh you know something all conversations come back at some point to the kingfisher calendar and i think what happened over there is that i um had suggested the idea so okay. the idea had come from the photographer normally what happens is the client comes to you okay this is what we want to shoot please shoot it so here is my idea and i'm very grateful that uh, you, you know uh, dr malia and the ub group agreed to do it and uh, we've been shooting it for 18 years the nice thing is i don't have to report to anybody per se so it's not like there's a subcommittee of people jo hana bolegi it's okay. it's what's in my head and i have to translate it if it looks good everybody's uh, happy if it doesn't look good then it's only my fault so you know so yeah so whatever credit yeah jute jo padne hai wo you know it's up to me <laughs> so without taking a lot of your times so i'm going to quickly scroll through the best questions that that has come through your fans and i'll quickly ask you one of those and um there's one girl asking uh, any advice for aspiring models this is from canig can i get cuter can i get cuter okay that's her handle name any advice for aspiring models um any i i think it's a it's a given it's a, it's a given right now that uh, your uh, um if you're a model it's like it's like if i'm a photographer i need to have enough lights i need to have enough equipment that works properly i need to have enough lenses cameras etc etc you know so and they have to be in absolutely good shape and my and, and my assistants uh, have to be trained and very good and you can't go to a shoot and come back with you know the results not being up to the mark right so i think yeah. so that is required so the basic hygiene for models is that uh, you take great care of your face and your body and you are in the best shape possible so it can't be that abhi thodi si mote ho gaye abhi yaar you know whatever it's not going to work because you know it's uh, it's very competitive there are lots of people who want to do what you want to do so you know you have to be the best at it so but that's true of any profession right now you know, whether you're a lawyer you're a doctor okay. you're a, you know engineer or whatever so i think um long gone other days where uh, see, and the other thing is i think uh, models should try and get um like a certain x factor i don't know how to explain this but let's say you know once upon a time um very few people had a six pack for example Mm-hmm. then you know then a few people got a six pack and now if you throw a stone anywhere in lokanwala especially you will hit <laughs> six packs you know so so it's become the standard so i think what is different about you that is uh, you know that would make somebody notice now for case in point sidhan chaturvedi was dancing i believe at a party and then zoya noticed him and saw something interesting and said whatever Give me your number. I'll tell somebody to call you. And he got the job in Gully Boy. You know, so so I think uh, that's the uh, key. There must have been an X factor that she saw, right? So I think uh, so I think um, it's very important that people develop something that is unique and different. So, for example, a lot of photographers will be known for a certain style. For example, so similarly, uh, you know, models need to have that same kind of uh, thing. That something there needs to be something special about it. And it's Absolutely. taken for granted. You can't say that. He or she has a great body. You're supposed to have a great. Body. You're not doing anyone a favor by having a great body. Okay, so absolutely. Yeah, it's you like me less. saying my photos. Yeah, yeah, it's like saying my photos are in focus. <laughs> you know, I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> There's one other question saying that how can I send you script synopses if I need to. Oh, uh, just DM me on some whatever. We'll send you an email ID that uh, you can send uh, like a synopsis. If you like a synopsis, then we'll call for the uh, the full script. The full script nobody has the bandwidth to read unless we're really interested in what um, you know the synopsis says. For example, the synopsis could be as little as one paragraph. So let me give you an example. Uh, girl, girl in North India is about to get married in a few days. and uh, just before she gets uh, she supposed to get married her, her fiance ditches her and her marriage is cancelled mm-hmm. so now mm-hmm. she's she now she's depressed so she decides to since she has the tickets she decides to go to france and amsterdam for a honeymoon alone okay where she gets uh, you know a certain amount of self realization comes back and becomes a whole new human being so basically i have given you the story of queen 
Yeah. Okay. Now, if somebody pitched that sto- this much to me, okay, I'm interested because who goes for their honeymoon alone? So Absolutely. That's key, so that's the key yeah. line, right? So, so I think as you, so you know, uh, it's possible to get someone's attention with anywhere from one paragraph to no more than six, seven pages. You know? Right. So, right. Right. That was very, very well said. So many questions. So we are not, we we can't just keep picking. I'll be uh, you know needing the entire day for that. So in short, what would you want to say to all your fans watching your video right now? Um. Well, I mean, for me, you know, um, everything is really about passion and being being really keen and interested in uh, in. uh in what it is that you do and i think if you're if you if you focus on that and have that as a key uh you know then um you never seem to be going to work at any point in time so you must genuinely enjoy what you do and now there's there's so many options like when i was growing up if you were a boy and you were decent at studies ya ladka doctor banega ya engineer banega ya mba banega ya chartered accountant banega ya to baap ke dhande mein you know chalega that 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 was the general logic of it right so now i mean i know people who are voice over artists and uh, who, who are making a fantastic living okay and and getting paid a fat check uh, for the work they do which is great because um, you don't know, look at the investment warm water with salt and one cell phone <laughs> absolutely <laughs> to do some gargling once in a while <laughs> yeah yeah so um on that note i'd really like to say that thank you so much for coming on our live uh, chat it was my pleasure yeah. thank you really lovely you. speaking to you hopefully this pandemic goes off and we get to interview you personally it would be so much more fun we could play games i mean there would be so much to do so yeah yeah i can um, i can thank you so on that note i yeah, have a lot of restaurant i have a lot of restaurant uh, friends who keep saying ki yaar jald se jald kholenge i said i'll come and whatever but i just want to give a little bit of a tip in case somebody wants yes. to be helpful to people i think what would be a good idea it's not my original idea a friend of mine uh, called neeraj nair gave it to me i think it's a really good one so i've been doing this mm-hmm. um, you know uh, people who are professionals that you normally go to okay so whether it's your physical trainer or whether it's your hair stylist or whether it's your salon person or whatever it is then there are 20 of them that you deal with on a monthly basis or whatever i think it's a good idea to call them and say listen can i give you two hackers ka paisa abhi you know because see their their business is zero right now you know for a lot of people it's absolutely zero but if you give them the money now then you can always say okay my next haircut you adjust it when i come then you understand know, just giving one example Absolutely. so i think it's very it, it it's a, it's it's a good time for all of us to just pull together and just be good to each other and look out and this i think was was a very simple sensible and not too expensive a way of doing something aur unko fayda ab hai aap Uh, 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 so, you know, so it's it should be good to so think about it if you somebody wants to do this my good idea that's a very beautiful idea very beautiful and unique thought i mean who would have thought of that but this is so yeah, so nice i mean you know yeah when neeraj told me i'm like are ye to bada simple hai kar sakte hain and it's a beautiful thought hai and uh, nobody would feel bad kyunki unko return mein ek cut mil hi jayega baad mein ha mil hi jayega us ye waqt ki baat hai that's all you know but the money is very useful to them now you know hmm So we shall spread the word sir thank you so much for thank talking you, to us you. it was lovely thank you bye bye see you take care so guys that was atul kas baker sir with us i hope you all like the conversation in case aapko ye dobara sa dekhna hai so do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel that is bollywood bubble and till then stay home stay safe this was your host trishti pathak signing out